Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and as I do every month, I call attention to one of the articles that I find particularly interesting in this month's issue. The article I'm going to talk about um, is uh, Lehrman, L-E-R-M-A-N et al. It's a combination uh, of authors uh, from a number of U.S. medical centers and a number of Israeli medical centers. They reviewed the FDA um, adverse events reported with the use of amiodarone, which, as uh, I think most of our readers know, is extremely popular antiarrhythmic, used both for ventricular and atrial arrhythmias. Um, and as reported during the time when we were studying studying amiodarone for its approval, um, there was an increased incidence of hyper and hypothyroidism. Um, there were, was an increased incidence of liver abnormalities, but particularly uh, a important and brought to the attention of the investigators was interstitial lung disease. Now we know um, there have been isolated reports of very serious interstitial lung disease related to amiodarone and they pointed out that uh, there was a substantial number that were being reported and their conclusion was you got to watch the amiodarone patients very closely. If they're on for a short time, not a problem, but those who are taking it for, for, year, for an, over a year clearly need to be closely monitored for interstitial lung disease possible symptoms and, and or changes on the chest x-ray. Nice to talk with everybody and I hope you'll continue to follow us on our various social media.